सो हेलो गाइस दिस इज जेंगो ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज पार्ट 2 आई एम अजय कुमार शर्मा एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय YouTube चैनल क्रिएटिव वेब दिस सेकंड पार्ट फॉर आवर एमबीटी पैटर्न जेंगो सो व्हाट इज एमबीटी इट्स अ मॉडल व्यू टेम्पलेट मॉडल मींस वी आर क्रिएटिंग अ डेटाबेस टेबल्स इन model.py फाइल एंड व्यू फॉर क्रिएटिंग अ व्यूज फॉर uh this all data we are mm, have in our database and template for rendering this data in the browser so uh, first of all we create a models for our blog app because we are creating a blog uh, web app so first open your visual code studio and any other like soft uh, editors you like and this is um, sublime visual code studio or pycharm you can use any of free and others like you have choice your your choice so i like to um, work on visual code studio because it's light weighted and it is id type of environment so all the things are in here so in this tutorial i am not start with the cmd terminal uh, i am because uh, visual code studio provides a inbuilt uh, terminal you can see this is the terminal we of django our we are on our folder directory where we our projects are um, set set so in previous tutorial we create uh, virtual environment and uh, django project the virtual environment is in this vm folder and my project folder have our project that's main directory so so we can go to our my project file and we created a blog app in previous tutorials and um, this is our project main folder and this have four files all have different different work settings urls files are useful for our projects uh, and the wsg file is inbuilt and it is very useful but we don't uh, uh, edit uh, anymore in this uh, now so it's uh, depending on your production time of environment when you can edit this uh, as you need requirements so we can go to our setting.py file and check uh, this blog uh, app is uh, uh, mentioned in our installed app or not so this is our installed app uh, dictionary and you can see there is no installed app written in blog for the blog this is a blog app is created and but don't mention in here because django is project is don't know the blog app is the is a part of this project so so we can add this here like this simply put blog or name of your folder name and put here and save this file right now okay that's the work is complete and uh, blog app is now connected to our project close the file and close this django project main file and open your blog app directory here you can see all these files uh, all of have different work so we are in this tutorial working on uh, creating models and uh, its view and its template so first of all we create uh, models for our uh, blog app so go to your models.py file here you create your models so what is models what models is basically uh, database tables fields here we can uh, add a, a field name or its uh, characteristics something like that to tell the django uh, database to create these all fields in database and uh, manage this so start um, this working on class and name of your blog sorry um, model name we pass a arguments models dot model is required 
and here we start our project uh, for you database table fields names so what we requirement for our blog app so blog have mainly its title and featured image or its content main body part where we write uh, all the blog and second or oh, sorry third fourth is for uh, its created date where this blog is created and fifth for is slug so slug is very important for uh, making this uh, particular post uniquely uh, target so we can use this slug field here so okay guys so first of all we create a title field title it's a title equals to models dot character field this is because character field and pass a arguments its a length uh, how much uh, its length have um, 100 and second for the image field equals to image equals to models dot to image field like this and leave this empty because here we don't pass any arguments so set third is content it's also a character field and here pass a max length equals to 1000 characters or la or for tag, huh, sorry, I don't tell you about tags. This is required for uh, mentioning different. This uh, blog post is uh, where to belong. This uh, it's a type of a short uh, title to make this different. What the uh, like something, but uh, the main point of this post is uh, for uh, this post is for this uh, Python tutorials or this for for Django tutorials and this for web design developments etc. Like this to um, point out some different things here. So this is for tags also character field. So star field here yeah, pass arguments. It's a requirement arguments equals to equals to it's a 200 something 100 it's fine for x i am just 200 for title and slug equals to models dot slug field this is a unique field here we pass a max length max length is 200 comma and here we pass a this field is unique okay last for our date date field models dot this is a date time field this is the auto created data and field auto now add equals to true let's save this file and uh, no, uh, but last uh, last thing is to decorate something so, to create this so str pass argument self so, this is a function for this class so, uh, here we return self dot title migrate this uh, with the database to create this all tables in the database so here i misspell something models dot model sorry okay all the things are there i should recheck it okay done so go to your terminal uh, i'm using inbuilt terminal here so first of all we have to uh, activate our virtual environment uh, we slash script slash uh, activate 
Okay, now active CD go to project. Okay, check Python manage dot i my make migration. So our uh, blog app is now showing here and created. Go to your blogs and you can see that there is no post and no data here so first create a add block to data add here so first we have to go this is our first post block data and choose a file for uh, our image okay for the content to go to so it is here and python oh my Django. Like this, and for the slug, first word like that. Okay, this unique field now our first blog is created. So go to your main root directory. Okay, like that, but there is no showing here. So for that, we have to create a view for our data and uh, showing this and showing this to create a template for our views so admin files now stop this but before we have to uh, url in all the fields so go to your main project folder and urls.py file here you have to include your urls file of the blog app so go to your blog app and create a file sorry url urls.py like that and here is nothing just copy this thing and paste it here remove first line because we don't need jam admin right here include a path or path and leave it in the form of blank right like this go to your main project directory and include a free inbuilt function here and make a path new path for our blog app URL so it is now default and include your blog dot urls file like that so now all our data is uh, so go to our main project folder and in browsing browser and you can see there is nothing to press it okay i think server is stopped here no no that's okay that's fine so we create a problem our uh, project folders URLs file include a blog apps URL file and URL files have don't know any path so remove this and just cut this main project file URL now close this folder because we have to work on this our blog app right now we create our models and uh, now we have to create a view in views.py file go to your views.py file and import your models here first so dot models import all like this and create a view i am creating a view in function so blog view like that, pass a request and uh, here. So we have to um, collect all the um, tables, fields, data in one variable. So we can create a variable like post and uh, posts, and in this we include our blog data blog models data so blog dot object dot all and function this is function and 
render all the data in a template return render like this and uh, request and render request comma your template name comma your context dictionary so i have posts so post Here we pass these posts. So you can see this post is this post, and this post is passing this post context. So we can use this post in our template to render all the data. So create a template directory templates. And in this templates, make a new folder, blogs, blog, and here in the temp blog, create a file for index.html file. And this index.html file just to render all the data so by one by one of field's name. So we created our views, but we have to uh, create a, our URL. So go to your URL path comma by default go to this folder and views dot name of your view name function also blog views comma name equals to pass a name post like this and here import your views dot views import all I think it's work we got this right now and uh, Go to your views.py file or here you can mention your uh, template name. So I have index.html templates so where it found is uh, blog slash index.html like this. So we don't pass any our data right now. We just uh, check this uh, is working or not. Uh, so type h1. Close this h1 tag. Hello, it's work. In. Like that, save this. Check your terminal, your server is going to the first one. I file include new oh put a comma here um, okay server is stopped even the server run the server again Okay, what the error there? Here, log.py file URL, logs URL file. Oh, we have got this out. No, run server. Errors are great for development. It's, I like errors. Attribute errors found for blog type object blog has not attributes objects view stored by file line number 7 error blogs ok go to I am just close our main project url file and uh, go to our view stored by file of in blog folder and wait just a minute so I have to 
to forget to include as here projects objects is like objects okay here it's working hello it's working now so okay we finish our some things here and we created our models views and urls okay all things setting up there okay 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 all done okay now last thing for us uh, this post in our index.html file so but make a okay like that and create a loop here for data in posts post so we do here this post that have uh, objects or blocks data and pass it in data so use this data variable to render all the data so what type of fields we have we have block title block uh, uh, names fields etc so first we close this tag here and for like that and in this put a h1 tag for title and in this pass here data dot title like this we have to include this uh, name from models this title image context tag slugs date etc like this so one field is created we can show our data all titles which we have next for image image it's a image field so we have to include a image tag here and source equals to like this and delete okay we have to include a image dot url like this next thing is paragraph tag for our body block body so data dot content like this it says c capital here check this content now second i am using i for leave this tag and slug field or use a date field so we'll Date field is just before the title. So this is a span tag, I think. So I use a span. And here pass data dot date. and url file we have to mention a app name app name equals to blog because this is a blog's url file so check we have titles from the database and the time image and this uh, content but images don't show because this is don't have we upload image in the database but database is stored a data not media this is a media file 
so we have to create a media directory uh, in the project for that we have to go to our settings file so let's uh, this all things created so close this out leave this models and views file and uh, open your settings file and uh, go to the down and here you see static url and you have to put a static url static root and media url and media root this whole line board so static root static root equals to os dot path dot join base directory comma the name of the directory static like this static Now for the media URL equals to media the slash between media slash and for the media root equals to os dot path dot join base directory base directory comma media slash media okay media is so okay done so media blog okay we create a folder okay all things done so we are in development environment so that we have to include a single line of code in our urls.py file your full blog here so plus static static settings settings dot media url comma document document root equals to settings dot media root like this and import some things from the Django cons Django dot cons uh, dot urls dot uh, static static import static and from django cons import settings like this all things are I think it's done right now. Mm, let's run the server again.
equal issue in the um, URLs, the media URL settings must end with the slash. Here it is in settings file. Okay, right. We have to put this slash starting and ending point of this URL static and media. Okay, all done. Refresh. What the problem here? Static media blog. The URL settings. Both the settings and models and check what was the problem. Open your index.html file and see for the image data.image.urls. Yes, let's check. Work or not? Not. Let's collect all statics and media. So all done now. You can see a folder is created for our static and media down created now. So let's create. It's great when we uh, upload a image on the server. So let's run the server again. This image file is here, but we don't link in. Have to include some the uh, admin. Go to admin, check blocks, edit this, choose a file like this. Check here. Okay, done. Our image is now seen here. You can watch title, time, image, and context here. But we created models and its view and templates and connecting urls in main project url to the blog app urls and uh, creating some static and media root files in the settings folder like that and uh, uploading a images like this so okay last thing we have to tell you about the uh, pillow so this is a pillow for the images it's like a media management it's a package so but so i am downloaded it so i don't tell you about this when when you use image field you have to install a pillow like this in the your virtual environment packages this is a package for managing media files i am already installed it here so i don't use it but you have to install it before you are using image field okay that's all for today we meet in third tutorial where we create a uh, detailed view of post and managing our template so okay guys bye bye like this video comment on this if you and heavy is any issues regarding this tutorial and uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel bye bye